beach bag. So I was like, okay, let's get. Buonasera a tutti and hello and welcome to another vlog. We are, as you probably know, in Ibiza and I'm trying to hold my hands like this so you don't see all the crazy mess around me, but you already know that I'm a messy person and it's not even something I'm trying to hide. The truth is I got ready, I got dressed up. I'm wearing this beautiful Saint Laurent dress. Wait, let me try and show it. This is the dress, okay, with the Balenciaga mules that I've never really worn before, so they're brand new. Oh, and this is the bag of the night, by the way. I just love how chic this dress is. I will link it below so you guys can shop it if you like. We're going to Zuma tonight. I've never been uh, to Zuma in Ibiza because I think it's brand new open. And I will let you know how we get on. Something very important. So, like I said, we are in Ibiza on holidays. Finally, I'm trying kind of like not to do too much, but I'm actually it's so weird that every time that I say like okay now I'm not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna vlog or I'm not gonna do TikToks and stuff, I just feel so inspired to do everything and then I'm doing it but so effortlessly. So like even on my TikTok, it's kind of like doing really well, it's flourishing, I'm so inspired to create different content. So I, I don't even know what to say, but long story short, I'm gonna try and kind of like just show you a very spontaneous holiday vlog. I'm here with my boyfriend and with a bunch of friends. We are staying with our friends that we love very very much so it's like a super nice holiday where it's just like a bunch of people that enjoys each other's company so that's very nice. I don't want to be late because that's very annoying when you're with a group of friends. I'm gonna get going and yeah I'll try actually and vlog a little bit from Zuma on my phone so that you can see it if I don't forget. Well, of course I forgot, or I didn't really forget to vlog last night, but it just was like so much in the moment that I ended up not really vlogging at all from Zuma. But I have to say we stayed till like 1.30, it was really fun. The food is great, I love the space, it's in the port, it's really cheerful. Right now we're on a boat, I am in my new swimsuit, you know, the one that I got in Capri, the Chanel, it looks like tweed, but it's obviously swim. You know, just enjoying the sun, wearing my Miu Miu, I don't know if you can see sunnies. Created a mess already, but look at this view, guys. First things first, my new swim, we just had lunch. Then look at the color of the sea. We went to Fomentera and we're just like sailing. I love when sea sparkles like this. It's so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Here's a little note. Hi baby, I'm vlogging. And look at the color of the sea. Do you like being on the boat? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Do you, what do you like most about being on the boat? That you can feel the sea. You know what I like most about you is that you just asked me, should we take some pictures? Yep. It's very nice of you to offer. But I don't know, I'm not really like feeling the picture taking moment, thousand percent. I don't even know. Let's see, let's see. Let's close the camera and let's see if we can take a pic or two, because it is quite beautiful here. And welcome to another day in Ibiza. I think I've been a terrible vlogger. You need to help me get better a little bit. But the truth is that today I did a lot of work here. So I had to do like some very bureaucratic things that we don't really like to show. Baby, are we driving together now to Chile? Yeah, we can vlog in the car. Baby. Yes? 100%. Okay, we're gonna try vlog in the car. I don't know how 100%. sound this is gonna be, but I'll try to figure something out, okay? We are arriving to Chiringuito. Let's have a look at this little local shop. Oh, yes, I love it actually. Look at this, Balenciaga. Cold Balenciaga. I love it. I think I've been here before. to discover shops like local shops whenever we're traveling 
Um, no, you and I, baby, today we look a bit like a crazy couple of the way we dress. Right? Un fame da morire. Si. Sono you affamata. Look, do you like my sunglasses? <laughs> They're so extra iconic. Did you like it? Did you like We liked it. Good morning, everybody. I just realized that you are not really seeing much of Ivica because I'm mainly vlogging from here. But I wanted to show you my outfit before we leave. So here it is. I'm wearing black. The raw pants, love them so much. They're so versatile, so perfect. I'm wearing this sparkly top that I got in Capri from Prada. It's so gorgeous. Look how much it sparkles. And this is actually a short sleeve Prada shirt. I've had it since... I don't know, before Coachella, so probably like since April. I really love um, this combo because it's like, has a bit of like, you know, a little touch. Got my little Löwe bag and got Hermes sandals. There we go. The sunglasses are Chanel. We're heading to the port for breakfast and I'm dying for a coffee as usually, so nothing new. I don't know if you saw, I did a little YouTube short with me getting this. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. And that's it. Let's go. Let's Let's get going. Okay, we just made this little port where all the luxury shops are and cappuccino, the bar where we're gonna have coffee and breakfast. I shopped here at Leve and at Louis Vuitton. At Louis Vuitton I bought the swimming suit, which was Louis Vuitton for Fornacetti, or Fornacetti for Louis Vuitton. It was so nice, I'll insert the picture. And I bought a little bit of set with the anagram, like I think the beige skirt and the jacket, that was so cute. Okay, so the one that we're meeting the rest of the group is in that direction, where we can have the view of the old town. This is Leo, we're coming here tonight, it's very famous for like sort of cabaret-like performances and it's really fun. A little stop at Loewe because I love it. Yes, in these shoes, Joe. Very. They have the egg, they have the rose, they have the nail polish, the soap. And the ton of beach bags, accessories, sunglasses. I'm getting something. Just waiting for it to be packed. We came back to my favorite place, not the cappuccino because I look at the kind of croissant you can have here. It's so nice. And you are surrounded by all the shops, which is obviously a bonus. This highly recommended, highly, highly recommended filling. Love it, really. In Ibiza, if you come here, mm, 10 out of 10. Okay, shall we quickly pop by? Oh, you guys, you know I cannot miss it. Are we slowly starting to get into boots or not yet? You guys let me know. I think I am. I did buy already my first boots, which you will see very soon. But you guys know my favorite shoes are always from Saint Laurent. Like, uh, I have those, I have those. I have those. Look at these beach bags. My eye is on that one. Mission succeeded. We did a little bit of damage, but I think it's now time to go and enjoy the sun because I like to get a bit of sun. It's so such a warm day. And also I have money paddy at 3 p.m. I think for this visit we are done with the port a little bit and now it's time to go home. Do you mind that you're naked in the background? Just like a little bit in the underwear. No, it's not like, you know. Bagel? Yeah? Yeah, if you don't mind, I don't care. No, you don't care? If you don't, I don't. Why would I mind? Huh? Why would I mind? You do mind. No. No, no, that's fine. 
So this is, this is the back, it's not like that. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Guys, it's around 9 p.m. We're leaving to Leo tonight. Tonight is the Leo night. And I just quickly wanted to show you what I got in Ibiza because you could have seen that we first stopped at Lueve. And I got something that I really, 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 really wanted back in Europe, but they didn't have it. In fact, I I kind of like, it's so weird. So I saw it online. I was like, I'm gonna buy it in Loewe. And then I checked and they had it in Milan store. I texted my essay, she, she didn't respond because she was not in the shop. She was on holidays. By the time she returned, it was completely sold out worldwide. And I was so relying on her. So I missed out on it, but they had it available in Ibiza. And it's the white ribbed tank top with the anagram in front. So cute, no? You like it? I love it. Me too, I think it's so cute. Love it. Love it. So that's what I got first. And I was like, so when she told me that she has it, I was like, I couldn't believe it. And then I got a very simple t-shirt, like my favorite color. I think this is my favorite color. It's olive green. And I think this color suits me probably better than all the other colors. Maybe white suits me better. That's the only color, but I think this color suits me so much. Look. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And you know which other color I think suits me? No. Senape. No? Yeah, I think so. Too. You know I have that Louis Vuitton top, Senape, olive green. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite actually. That's what I got at Louis in the little uh, catalog. Uh, at Saint Laurent I got two things. It kind of surprised me what I got. Wow, they packed it like, like really packed it. Like really packed it. I'm going after here, my best friend's birthday, we're going to Belgrade and then we're going for holidays to Montenegro and Croatia, I think. And I think this will be very useful because I don't have enough. Completely! But look yeah. how cute is this one. It's a straw one that actually just has a tiny, tiny little, very not even noticeable logo. It's super cute because all my little hats are full of like color. And I think this one is perfect because I can wear it when I'm like wearing all the other colors, you know? So it's quite, what do you call it? Neutral, no? Yeah, I love it. And I really think it's so cute. Like I ended up wearing my Chanel hat so, so much this holiday, pretty much every day. I think you could have seen also in the vlog just because it was the neutral color, so it was perfect. Whereas the, and like no logo, no, I mean, a tiny little logo, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so that was in the that box. And then here, what I kind of told you that I had my eye on, which is, I think you can understand what it is. I have so many beach bags. Like my favorite ones are, I think, from Prada and from Loewe for summer, but I never actually had a Rive Gosh beach bag. So I was like, okay, let's get, Anyway, I was gonna say that I think this will be perfect with my new Catalino, right? And uh, I think this will be like a perfect beach bag because I can actually squeeze it just like the Prada one. But then the Loewe and the other Prada one that I have that are more firm, I can't actually squeeze in the suitcase. And it's quite nice to have few options when it comes to beach bags. So I really love this. I want to tell you one more thing. So today, I didn't really vlog much. I think this vlog is gonna be one huge disaster because I haven't vlogged anything because I'm really actually enjoying my time with friends. But also today I had my nails done, which I'm so happy for. Like I literally broke all of my nails. Can you see? Nothing left. So this is basically it. And I also had a pedicure, which I'm not gonna show you because there are some creepy people online that like to watch feet. I mean, they're not creepy, but they could be. Anyway, you know what I mean? I'll show you. Anyway, so. I got this and the hat and the tops, which is going to be perfect for my little holidays in Montenegro and Croatia, right after the Ibiza. And then at the end of August, we're either gonna come back to Ibiza or we are going to uh, go to Italy. Do you wanna go to Amalfi? No, but can I say something? Yes. Can I give a tip to your followers? Yes, you can. That's what you need in life. Oh, you found it. I did. Maybe I'll show it. It's this better. is gone. Uh, yeah. So, Goodbye. Refill. My boyfriend's favorite selling fragrance is black. No, yeah. One mm -hmm. of the two. Yeah. One black of the two. Tie and parade. But now it's time for uh, parade. Parade. So you do like that. But you can. And then you do like that. I love this travel thing. And then you do like that. That's it.
I am actually wearing Dolce Gabbana velvet amber. I don't know if it's a skin or a sun. Can you check in the second drawer? Second the drawer. The name of my fragrance. It is called velvet amber skin. Skin, velvet amber skin. That's what I'm wearing. It's a bit wintry, but I really love it. I love anything wintry and honestly, I don't know why, but for me Dolce Gabbana fragrances are just the best. Just trust me, go for Celine. Parade. It's a men's fragrance. It's beautiful. It's a man, but... Actually, I think it's kind of unisex. I mean, who yeah. cares? I love those kind of fragrances. I love... I actually have written a blog post about favorite summer fragrances. You should check it out. I think there's another fragrance on there, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. There is an Narciso Crystal. There is Hermes. Did I include it really? I don't know which one I included. I included... Now when you ask me what are my favorite fragrances, like I cannot include one. Your favorite fragrance is uh, where you love the Chanel. Which one? Uh, it's more wintry. The one that I always use. Beige. Cor Coromandel. No, it's not beige. My favorite is Coromandel and Leon, but they're wintry. Also, you love Tom Ford? Yeah, I love Tom Ford. And also, Blanc. you love very much Dior. Yeah, I love also for winter mainly, like Spice Blend and Amber Nui. And yeah, I've written a blog post. You should check it out because. That's basically it now. I'm gonna get dressed because we're gonna go to Leo and I think it's going to be a very, very fun night. You guys, I didn't tell them what I'm wearing. How could I not? This is a Magda Bushroom dress that I got. I will obviously link it below. I will wear my favorite Bottega sandals, right? This is going to be the look. Well, someone has to go to make sure that the car is ready. Oh my God, can you help, can you help me? What is this? It's the car that you Oh, which bag should I wear? The... Thank you so much. Something... I have a black. But the shoes, you. you don't want to wear something more extra? I didn't bring anything extra, but any pizza. Well... I brought only the Balenciaga new, the black one, and this. Don't you think these shoes are extra? No, they're not. They're not they are extra because they're pretty, but they're not. So. In the beautiful. Which bag should I wear? Light blue Michele or black Michele? You should wear the black one. Or light purple Chanel. Don't we have a red Michele? No, but you can put it on my wish list. I think you need a red Michele. You can... You can work on it, baby. We'll work on it. Bye, guys! Okay, let's go. New day. Maybe shall I open my baby? The roof? Yeah. Mm, the door maybe. The roof, I don't know. I'm wearing my new hat, guys, in case you haven't seen. How would you rate it from 1 to 10? I hope ten, it's a 10. 10? Yes. Okay. Baby, I really do think we should close the roof because the light is changing too much and it's highly annoying for the people. Can we close it? I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. Ooh. See? I mean, that's not close, my love. <laughs> you hear the song, the sound. You know what I really wanted to film in the car today? No. Besides my beautiful hat that I love so much. Yeah. Uh, and my new bag, even that I brought with me. Yeah, but before we start, shall we mention the fact that you're drunk? Baby! No. But when do we get out on a normal road? It's very annoying. Yeah. Yeah, baby, we are in the that is not a normal road. What do you mean? There's like a motorway. I know, but we need to get there. And there is a lot of uh, curve. You cannot say that is a bad word. Maybe in Italian there is a lot of curve. You cannot say it's a bad word in Serbian. What does it mean? No. no, no, no. Anyways, before to get to the highway, there is a lot of curve we have to go. Curves. Through. Curves, yeah. Curve. No? You're so naughty. Go away. Okay. We're gonna continue telling you about the game in a second. It's just like impossible road, and I think I'll get sick if I am focusing more on the camera than on the road. Anyway, we want to tell you a little story about this TikTok uh, game called Five, Four, Three, Two, One. And you say five things that you like about the other person, then four things that the other person likes in general in life, then three things the other person looks good in. Then two things you say a lot, 
and then one thing you would change about the other person. Yes. Right? Yes. So how about I have a great idea. How about you come up with one idea? Well, one idea is like we can play the top three games. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Let's top three it. things that you love at the most. Like uh, top three countries, top three cars, top three dishes, top three anything. You pick up on the one you want. Top three I islands. Also played this game. Did we? Yeah. In the last video, we even set up three pastas. Everything. We've already done it. Hmm. And top three countries like Serbia, Serbia, and Serbia. A lot. What? I love Serbia too. In fact, we are going to Serbia in three days. Io non vedo l'ora. Anch'io. Okay, five things I like about him. There's, there's a lot of things I like about him. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in a relationship with him. Well, though, even if uh, you weren't that short two days ago. No, it's normal, baby. Like, sometimes, like, people just... What? Well, maybe, I don't know. Who knows. That's an interesting topic. What? Uh, let's tell them what we thought about it. Yes, let's tell them. Yeah. Do you want to explain? No, I have nothing to say because you, you, you usually when we argue, Yes. Uh, she does the, the, her own movie. Let me tell you guys just how the fight started. Me, super happy. Incredible mood. Usually I'm the one that starts the fight. Yeah, no, I no, would you. say 9 out of 10 times I start the fight. Yes. I would say. Yes. We happy, belly sereni, no? Yeah. Having an amazing lunch and then my boyfriend decides to tell me that I should apologize for something that I said like uh, days ago. I'm the, so sorry. The day before, the day before, guys. Who does that? We're the day happy. Tamara, which is. We're having an amazing day. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's my turn. So, Tamara, which is my girlfriend, and for a reason. And the reason is that he's the person I love at the most in this planet. Sometimes she can be a little bit rude comparing to my uh, way to be. You rude know, or honest? No, rude no, no. Or honest? no, rude. They have to, to know something. That I'm a very calm and peaceful guy. You know, my life is, uh, is, is pretty intense, like mm -hmm. her life. I work a lot, I travel a lot, I meet millions of people, but I, I know how to deal uh, with the pressure. You know, I never lose it. Because also I'm older, to be honest. You know, when I was uh, 32, uh, uh, when, when I was 33, sorry, I didn't have this control. Uh, so I understand that she's, uh, you know, and when we argue or we fight, because we do fight, big, big Very fight, uh, big, big fight, let's say two times a year, yeah. little argue also like once every two months because we, we're very lucky. We, we know how to handle each other. I don't remember last time. But sometimes I like to uh, give her um, some, you know, lessons, not about life, about how to do with myself. Just, sorry to interrupt, but someone commented under the last video that you act like a teacher and it's very annoying. Well, that's fine. We, you know, we all have a different personality. Sometimes, you know, maybe you older and you think, I don't give her any lessons about life. I give her lessons about how to deal with me because that's all I care. You know, for me, how she does during her business, during her personal life, it's kind of not my business because I'm, I, I'm, I'm involved, but I'm not involved. You know, she's free to do uh, whatever she wants also because she's super well-educated, super nice, everybody loves her. But sometimes she's missing the, the empathy with her boyfriend. So whatever she does, I feel super free to tell her, listen, I do think you should apologize because you said something that is completely not true uh, yesterday. But that's your reality, my reality. It is my reality, but that's why I'm showing you my reality and you show me your reality. Yeah. So I tell you, listen, baby, what you said yesterday, I, I'm not gonna say what, what you said. It was nothing crazy. Don't, don't go too far, guys. It was something that I found it a bit unnecessary for uh, something that happened. So I said, listen. It was my perspective of the event. Yeah, yeah. I said, uh, Tammy, maybe I think you should apologize for you what you said yesterday. Now, there are two options here. Option A, you know a. what? Option, option a. a, you know what, baby? You're right, I do apologize. You know, I could, I could have avoid that, you know, what I said. Finish, end of the story, big kiss. I love you more than before. Option B. B, B, what? B. Yeah, exactly. 
option B, what are you talking about? Da, 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 yeah, no, it was not like that. Yeah, crying. No, yeah. no it was not like that at all. I wanted to say, so I'm a very um, proud person. First of all, which you know, is it novelty to you that I'm a proud person? Yes, but it's not something I would be proud of. I'm not proud of being proud. No, I agree, but it's my characteristic. That's why, you know, that's where you learn from other people. I learn from you, you learn from me. Anyway. It's also like very much like characteristic of like where I come from. We're very proud people. I'm not saying it's like the best thing ever, but it is what it is. I apologize always when I think I did something wrong. Is that not true? It's, it is true. Like, but it's easy to apologize when you think you did something wrong. What is difficult is to apologize when you don't know if that was right. And the way my parents raised me is that if you don't think you did something wrong but you apologize, your apology is not sincere. In order to apologize sincerely, you need to think you did something wrong. True. It's like saying, Correct. I'm so sorry. Like if you, if you say like, you know, it's that we have this joke, like a brother says to sister, you stupid. And then mom said, apologize. And he said, I'm so sorry, you're stupid. You know, it's like that. It's like saying, I'm so sorry, but you don't mean it. And, you know, if I don't mean it, I try to just say, listen, and this is what I said. Very possible that I'm right, not that I'm wrong, <laughs> so that I'm right. But uh, this is how I feel, and this is my reality. So you can have one reality, and I can have another reality. Yes. And I was just trying to tell you that, you know, it doesn't mean that everything that I feel is right, but it's what I feel. Yeah, but if what you feel, Mm -hmm. It's your own movie, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it has a reaction to things that I'm not involved with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because it's your own feeling, uh, I need to be, you know, to tell you that your feeling is wrong. And I think that if you trust uh, your relationship, then uh, if I tell you, listen, this feeling is just, you know, it could be based on stress. It could be based that you're feeling this because, but it's not like that. Especially when the topic is such an important topic like the one it was. It was not so important topic. It was an unnecessary fight well, that you picked. No, I didn't. I, I didn't want to pick a fight. I just want to address a small thing that was bothering me. But what I wanted to address but, can, is that I always agree, pick a fight, and we, on this occasion you picked a fight. Oh, it's no, not just me but do, we, do you agree that if I have something to bother me, I just share it with you, right? And yes. you know me. If yes. there is one thing that you and cannot I deny, say, I would say you know, six I can, out of I ten times. I cannot keep anything. You know, when six something. Six out of ten times I say, I'm so sorry, you're right. And oh, you too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There is no problem. You know? But if I tell so you. So if I once say no, I, if I want don't, once don't say, I'm so sorry. Anyway, because yesterday, I do yesterday, yesterday you picked an unnecessary fight. That was not yesterday. Uh, two days ago. Which was unnecessary because it was holidays you and we just. You what you're like saying so many. You're like a bujarda. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because you. Maybe focus on the fight. stage. Oh, when we fight, you took it to the next level. It's and correct. It. I'm very fiery. Yeah, but it's not something. It's something that you can control. But no? I'm not a person that says stuff and regrets later. What everything I say is because I mean it. Maybe the camera is. Yeah, I see. I am not a person that offends you. I never say offensive words in a fight. I don't say like you're stupid or you fool. No, no, of course not. I mean, maybe but if you say people, you're, like, no, no, there wait. are people who say things no, like no, that. But they, like very those, mean things. those people are not our environment people because I don't believe in any kind of bullying, in bullying, insulting, or closing doors or putting phone no, down. Me neither, or shouting. We, no, we don't do that. I'm just talking. I'm just talking for our parameters. Insults. I'm talking for our parameters. Maybe for our parameters, fight is not even a real. Fight. No, there is because argue, let but let me tell uh, you something. Like, where is the entrance? Here. It's the first time you're dating a serious. It's close, baby. No. The point is that I wanted to ask you guys. When you fight with your partners, who says first, I'm sorry? Who says first, I'm sorry? We always yes. say whoever's fault. And um, I think like uh, the most important thing is even when you fight to always remember that uh, you really love uh, the person. No. Mm. Maybe use my alcohol. Oh, you're so mean. Let's go. There. Wait. Let's roll. Shopping done. Right? And you know what I'm gonna do now? Do you need the phone? Uh, put it there, my love. Now, baby, do you know what I'm gonna do? No. Piscina? Same. Uh, 
Same, same, same. Non mi guardi, non parli, non pensi. Baby, don't worry. I'll play like you don't exist. Exactly. Perfect.